Brothers. Welcome back to Territorial.io. We're starting off today here in a 39 player free for all battle here in the heart of Europe. We are kind of going in our regular spot, which is, you know, and a little bit of the Baltics, a little bit of Russia. Um, I'm really liking our spot so far. Nobody's really coming too close to us. And we have, yeah, Africa's not that bad, but I was, no, we're good with this spot. So what is our plan from here? Well, we just get, we just expand. And then typically I like to go up into, into Finland. That seems to be always a good pathing from this spot, but we'll have to kind of wait and see what things look like from here. So we'll just play this out regularly. Now we do have our first opponent, which is Drew down there in the bottom left. Hello, sir. Hope you're having a good day. And we're about to go into our infinite growth phase here. Do I want to go now or do I want to save? I think we go now. Oh, and I missed it. Okay. We have OG mummy below us as well. That's perfectly fine. And yeah, we should have gone earlier to squeeze through a couple of these bots. Unfortunately, we only get through one of them. So we'll just begin the bot phase a little bit on the early side, making sure to attack all the bots right after they attack so that they're, they're at their weakest. And we can just continue to keep going from here. Now, we are maintaining a position in the top 10, which is good. But um, where are we going to go from here? Well, it's it's going to be a little bit rough. Now, we could potentially be encapsulating bots. I'm not going to worry about uh, that be just in this position. People can vote. So us grabbing the weakest bots as quickly as we can is going to be top priority number one. That's a really good bot for us to get. So is Congo Free State. And now we'll just continue to keep pushing up. There we go. Oh, that's good. And we have the crown. We have a decent amount of troops. Keep that in mind. So things are looking good for us right now. And there's still more bots to get up north. Ooh, well, la di da. Let me just uh, push up north now that I have like 100,000. I'm doing very well in the troop game. Nobody around me really has anything comparable troop wise. So I'm going to push for this and just grab as much possible land as I can. Yes, this absolutely makes me a target for everybody, but I don't care. I'm getting greedy with it. Let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, and he stopped his attack. So we get a little bit more. Huzzah. Okay, so we're very good off. OG Mummy did have a little bit of extra troops below us, but that was the only player. Oregon, I'll take a truce with you. I'll take a truce with you, boys. Although it looks like... Yeah, the crown's down there. Okay. So, we're fine. We're fine. Um, Who's Kingdom of Poland wants me to attack? Brother, you don't even have borders on him. I hate when people do this. This is always the thing, man. When people tell you to attack somebody that they don't have borders on, it's like, ah, yeah, I ain't. I ain't about that life. But thank you for your advice. <laughs> So we'll just save up from here. We're not in a rush. Our red interest mark is going to be at 4 million. So we got some times to do. What did you say to me? What did you want to do? Charge who? I don't really want to go into Oregon, which is, I think, what he was asking me to, because boys, Warlord, and boys, Burham, obviously on the same side. So we'll just continue to keep saving up our troops from here, waiting for a good opportunity to strike and lash out. Now, if there are none, then we're in a little bit of trouble because I see player 184 is just gathering land down in, in the south. Obviously, nothing we can do about that for right now. We're just going to keep waiting, building up our time, and looking for that opportunity. As we do approach 4 million, we have a choice of either going into Codeberg or the GOAT. I would typically go into Codeberg, but GOAT is like so weak, and he's got a lot more land. Let's just go into GOAT. Let's just start knocking him down. Yeah, he's upset about it. I'm sorry, brother. I hope you have a good rest of your day, but I, I need your land. Yes. Okay. This is working out for us. Now, I do see the first place is at 71,000 pixels. That's not good. He's like, why don't you attack Codeberg? Well, because you two are similar strength and you have a lot more land. That was my thinking. It might have been smarter, but honestly, that opens up the Ryland Bugger guy. And I don't know what his intentions are. So this is a lot cleaner path for me. As, uh, oh, you have joined in. That pink guy who was telling me to attack the goat is actually joining in. Well, that's a lovely little surprise. GG's to you, brother, by the way. Uh, you play a good game. It was just uh, you got stuck next to someone who was much bigger. There's not a lot you can do about that in this situation, especially when no one was willing to probably work against me. So we'll clear out the rest of this. Get a good amount of strength on our side. Ooh, okay. We are at just about 60,000. Yeah, I see. Okay, you're coming up. We need to push. Oh, gosh. The crown's pushing up north. This is really bad for us. We have very limited time to be able to get this done. So we're going to fight this guy right now. He's like, don't attack me. And he's like, I got it. I got it. I see the crown building up strength down there. And it scares me a lot. We have very limited time to be able to get through this. So we have to get through this guy, Coburg, and then whoever else we can get before Oregon goes down. And I'm thinking he's fighting Oregon just because I see the troops moving down south. So 70,000 pixels, 30,000 behind the crown. 
and we're, we have six million troops we're not in a good spot not in a good spot oh gosh he is fighting Oregon right now oh no 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 that's so bad um okay uh there's not a lot of people to help us down there either I saw Corgi USA that's it are we gonna be not be able to outrace this guy oh mommy's going into Oregon too uh oh, we just gotta go into Oregon we gotta take the fight head on we'll see how much land we can get out of this second place 90,000 pixels 7 million troops we could still potentially fight this Corgi USA once in an alliance we'll try and get an alliance with you and um mummy says yes we're gonna have to push we're gonna have to push and hope this works out for us let's go we're in i'm in charge 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 mummy please join in too i'm in i'm in i'm in i didn't want to cut off oh the rylan bugger guy from having the option of attacking 184 as well and there's the attack on us ah i here's the problem i don't know if mummy or usa is strong enough to do enough damage for us to to tank this is a little bit of a concern mommy is attacking is usa going to consistently attack rylan please go down there rylan brother come on we just save we'll try and get him to switch targets but i might give an attack in here just a little bump yeah. okay he's going into mommy this is perfect we go hard now we go hard into player 184 hopefully usa joins in i haven't seen his borders move in a hot minute which is slightly scary because i'm nowhere near big enough to be able to contend against this guy alone i definitely need a couple people to work with me on this if i was player 184 i would just be going into me and take me out and i think i would be done so quickly that there wouldn't even be a point of anybody else joining in so but he's going into mummy which is kind of a saving grace it is very much drastically increasing his lead on us he's now 50,000 pixels oh we gotta go into mummy no oh, i'm sorry mummy i tried i tried well now we just continue the fight and hope for the best even though he's beating us heavily in in pixels he's not really killing us in in troops so as long as usa is still attacking down there we'll be just fine um i did cut off rylan that's a little bit annoying okay player 184 is attacking me that makes sense okay usa is still attacking i'm just gonna keep the pressure up i'm gonna keep the pressure up ah that's so bad it's so bad kingdom of poland what's going on could i ask him for anything i don't know i'm lost i'm lost in the sauce i don't have a great way out of this one usa is doing damage i don't know if he's gonna be able to do enough damage rylan brother not me go after that guy that's the problem he left he left go oh! That changes everything the bot's gonna randomly be attacking everybody hey rylan remember when you attacked me <laughs> oh the mighty have fallen let's go let's go huge 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 opportunity yeah the bot's just gonna be going into random people we can slowly take down the bot while also getting more land because he's not gonna be strategic oh that sucks homie dropped in first place he was gonna win this too but now we have second life we have uh we look at me i'm the captain now we have a lot of opportunity to get to be the biggest Corgi usa is pushing for this he's he knows this is his one chance to get on the leaderboard but he doesn't really have the troops to get this done meanwhile i can be nice and patient because the th third biggest player is uh i love my india and he's not even touching the 186, 184 player let's push into this now that he is though and try and grab as much of this land as possible two million troops come on just go down just give me all this land there we go easy 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 there we go and we get the crown now that might be a little bit over ambitious uh we have a truce with mexico i'm worried about india we'll save up we'll save up we're friends brother have no fear i have no reason to take you out i don't like that india is taking out my friend kingdom of poland i'm not sure if poland helped in that battle against the crown but i'm gonna assume he did I, whenever I miss it, people are like, dude, he was totally attacking. It's like, well, you know, it wasn't making that much of a difference. <laughs> uh, but we'll fight India. Knock him down. India fights us back. Now, in this position, just in, in case you're curious. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Corgi USA. I was just about to say, if you're ever in this position, fight me. I want you to fight me. I want you to fight. I don't want to win because we're both Corgis. I hate that. I don't think anyone should really play with the tag in a, in a free-for-all honestly i just forgot from my last video that's on me so uh we will fight down uh i love india 
Corgi USA is going to be attacking us, but India is our priority as he's in second place. And we might be able to bait him. Yeah, he's over attacked, which is good. We'll just keep up the pressure here and see if we can just get him a little bit more angry because he's using more and more troops to try and knock us down when honestly he should be holding in this position. So we kind of pulled the reverse Uno card where we were in this position a minute ago against the crown and now we are the crown in this position. So things are working out for us rather nicely and we're slowly but surely really making some damage against India as he's still counterattacking at this point. Even though he's down half, less than half of his uh, overall red interest mark. So us keeping up with the pressure here is pivotal. We cannot let up even though Corgi is getting a lot of land below us and we're really kind of not growing because every little bit of land we get, we kind of are trading down to Corgi USA. We get a player off the map. So let's, oh, one more time. Let's push for this, get this done. And as soon as we're done here, it's gonna be impossible for Corgi USA. Look, now we're starting to shoot up in the percentage wise because we're gaining a lot more land than we're losing. We're over 50% of the land here. Yes, there we go. Nice victory for us. A real Uno reverse card, if you will. So. Thank you, uh, Corgi USA, if you watch this, for fighting me. I super appreciate you. Uh, I'm so happy that you did that. Thank you so much for fighting me. Makes me feel a lot a lot better. A lot better. But uh, we're going to fight you too. He gives a collapse. Should I take him out? Yeah, he's fighting me. We'll just, we'll just kind of end this right now. GG's to Corgi USA. I thought about peacing with him. But uh, thank you so much for fighting me. I really appreciate that. And GG's to all involved on this one. Claps, good sportsmanship, peace, and kissy face for the boys. And we'll go on to the next game. As soon as that peace comes up, you know? It's always the awkward moment where you end your talks too early. And now you just kind of have to wait. Hey, everybody, what's going on? <laughs> uh, just uh, hanging out. Yeah, good job, everybody. Yep, Mexico, good job. Thank you for being my friend and not betraying me. There we go. <laughs> GG's on to the next one. All right, next game up is going to be a team's battle here in the good old US of A. We did see another Corgi boy join in with us. Now, we do have to be a little bit cautious. There's a lot of the white team going over here. Blue team's going over in this direction. That is not a good spot for our team. There's too many blue dots in the way. Um, maybe we can play here. Let's, yeah, we're just in the danger zone over there. Unfortunately, a lot of people had the same thought that we did. And that is not good as we are going to be in a very crowded neighborhood. I probably should have just stayed where I was and be and planned on being a disruptor, but that's okay. Anyways, what is our plan? Well, honestly, at this point, we're just going to get as big as possible. This is not, I did not really plan out this spot very well. We have Corgi Peace over here. Good to see you, brother. Hope you're having a good day. Um, we have Peace equals victory. It does not. And uh, let's go ahead and just go into our, our infinite growth phase a little bit on the early side, because I'm, again, very concerned about getting cut off. So I want to be able to push over into the east as much as possible as I'm not going to have an opportunity to push over into the West because of my own bots. So things are not in the best situation for us right now. Fortunately, we do get a couple of bots to, to go our way. Need these guys to continue to keep attacking. On Dynasty, thank you for attacking upwards instead of into me. And we have an alleyway out because uh, Walk, the baby over here, can't attack this Oya Empire. So we'll just keep attacking this way. See, keep going out. Being very cautious about our troops. We don't need to overexpand by any means. Let's just keep going down here. This bot's only going to have us to attack. And keep going here. Wonderful. And uh, not the best position. That is for sure. We'll go ahead and clear out this last bot down here to protect our bot from being attacked and hold the line. Now, Corgi Peace is in a much better position than we are. He's immediately going into Bonk. That is good for us. Peace equals victory once in Alliance. I'm going to give him one for right now. Uh, yeah, the OGs. Uh, I figured that's why they're, they are all kind of working together. So we still have a pretty good chance of this, though. We do have a lot of strength. Uh, as the blue team connected right here so as long as we're able to kind of support that strength we could do some work now honestly the move is yeah let's just ally with you and go into you get this done yeah 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 this is a really big opportunity for us looney is going to be really big and i need to get as big as well so fighting the yellow team is not going to be our, our winning strategy here although they are coming down over here which is quite unfortunate for us ah i was really hoping the yellow team wouldn't do that yeah, our blue strength is mostly in bots. We really only have two two to three players, if you count me, brother. Truce, look around the board. Look around the board. Like, we, we need to be friends more than we need to fight each other. And uh, if we have a chance of victory, come on, let's just go into this guy together. Me and you, brother. Me and you. Okay. FR is rather big, and this alliance guy is awfully weak. 
so this might be good for us maybe we just hold this line right here he's going into the island which is good there's a huge full send fr is rather strong now Ooh, i think we abandon our plants and just support our boy you going into baby is not super fantastic but i understand the mentality of it i think we just save up right now as we want to make sure to support this guy he's awfully big and now we need to go into baby let's just go ahead and grab some of this free land over here yep Orgy Peace, I think you're playing a dangerous game with Looney over here, and I understand the reasoning why, but it does still concern me very much to a high degree. Go here and here. Grab the rest of this. FR is in a good, a decent spot. We just need to support. Support as much as possible. FR, go into this guy, and I'll donate to you. If you go into this guy, I can donate. Otherwise, I might support the Corgers. He's going to save up. Okay, we're at red interest. And we charge. We go in. Come on, FR, join in. FR, for the love of all that is good, brother. Please. This is our moment. We don't need to let the teams just in completely annihilate us. Okay, he's going into Riders of Rohan, who's letting them clear out the bots. Not a bad strategy. I understand the, the mentality of it. Um, he's just going to be doing this mostly alone because our entire team is gone so but so is looney's team let's see what fr does in this situation we want to support him as best as we can because our chances of winning this are pretty much gone where are you going what is your plan what is your plan sir do you want to go into this guy yes no you just want to lose the game see it seems like we're just losing the game it seems like we're just giving them the game charge Let's try and get these guys in okay i'm in two i will help out what is our plan what i'm so confused what is our plan i don't think we have a plan right now okay uh sangali empire is going in that's good thank you blueberry team i appreciate you thank you for the donation brother yeah i was just like are we just gonna let this guy <laughs> win like we could have won this pretty easily a little bit ago now we could still get full sent on by looney i'm not sure if that would uh if that's part of his plan i imagine somebody on the blue team would get full sent um but just because we have the crown now i could go into peace equals victory and kind of start up that fight but i want to keep supporting our crown just in case you as b does turn on looney or does turn on our boy so we'll keep the pressure up here as best we can just little attacks here and there there's a big attack from uh the sangali empire and fr should be able to clear this up there's the full send against our teammate let's go ahead and try and grab a, enough of this land to be supportive if uh we we continue this fight but that is a decent move for us and that is 56 percent of the land so we could peace out here and honestly he wants to go into the peace okay well fine i'll do it i'll do it i understand i'm sorry peace peace was never an option now if i get attacked by the single empire and he doesn't do anything to protect me <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Yep, 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 yep. I'm going. Yeah. Here, I'll go a little faster. Even though you haven't donated to me one. And I think we'll be fine after this. I don't see USBs left. Claps, claps, claps. Yeah. We'll just push through. I think everyone's waiting on me. This is a little awkward. Sorry guys. I'll clear up my miss. I'll clear up my thing I could have won. Oh, Sangali Empire turned on me. What? Okay. Well, that's embarrassing because I was trying to finish things up fast. But now he's attacking me. Um, do we peace out from here? What's going on? What's the plan? What's the plan? I don't know what the plan is. I've been flat. I've have not talked at all in this game because I've been flabbergasted. I was like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I'm lost in the sauce in this one, baby. There ain't no like, uh, no sick commentary of what's going on. Here's some sick moves. This is what's going to happen. I don't know. 
Do we peace? Do we peace? Can we peace now? You want to fight him? We'll cut back with whatever the results are. All right. Well, I guess we're not letting so uh, Sug Healy Empire win. So we'll go ahead and clear things up as much as we possibly can here. I just full sent to speed things along. I'm not, wasn't even concerned about it. But GG's to all involved. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made this far in the video. If you have made this far in the video, hey, give a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put videos every day. But boys, I will see you next time. And a special thank you to all of my members with a shout out to producers Antiques or Pop, Dorker or Not, Thessalonica Gaming, Obama Toes, American Patriot, LGB, and executive producers Miss Gets the Mallard, A137, In My Element, Mason Slash, Aurelius, Rastuka Robert, Rob Coleman, Uther Ekana, Noob Rex, Brock Lowry, Jack Russell, Sakari Scarlet, Morwin, Ogan Gabriel, Demented, Kevin Andy Stamps, Tokyo Yurlingus 230, Monkey, Maverick149, Jeremy Daniels, and new executive producer Gary Beamont, with, with of course a special shout out to channel sponsor Daniel Stevens. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.